What's up, everybody? Are things working? Things are working. Look at that. My name's Aaron Ciotti. Everybody calls me Ciotti. You can call me whatever you'd like. Tonight, we're going to do giveaways, and we're going to do questions and answers, and who knows what else. But we're going to do it together. That's what's important. If you're new here, thanks for coming over from Monsieur Bardwell's stream. Um... Today is the 22nd day in a row that I've streamed, unbelievably. Um, truly cannot believe that I managed to do that, and fuck it, we're just going to keep going with it. <laughs> uh, who's in the chat? What's going on in the chat? Rob Axelson, Crunk, Dave's FPV, Big Willy FPV, Ran Flynn Diaz, Mike Gazale, Mike Gazale, Stephen Rossi, Troy Casperson, Tanner, Ken Hill, Tweet FPV is here. What's up, Dan? How are you? Rstang50 is in the house. Dave's FPV again. Mike Ga uh, Gazale. Sorry for butchering that, Mike. Uh, yeah, Boyd is here. Meatwad Fairy is here. Nathaniel LaBeouf is here. Jafar is here. Harbles. <laughs> Harbles. Harbles FPV, you dirty bastard, you. <laughs> Good on you. Solo is here. Y'all man flights. Experimental FPV or RC. You know, either or. Mike Bergman in the house. Brandon Bentley. 
Danny Scoggin, Pixel Pusher FPV, Eric Farmer, Experimental again. There's Tiago. What's up, Tiago? How the hell are you, man? Uh, Brent Vogel sang again. Redbeard the pilot. Mike Bergman again. Learning to fly. Now that's a YouTube name right there. All lowercase. All chilled out. Learning to fly. Ooh, thank you, lovey. Mm -hmm. Um, Steven Rossi, Tiago again, Metal Dirt Skin, Rob Axelson, Chris I or L, can't tell, Carl, Jafar, Brandon Bentley again, Big Willie FPV again, Ella Hawk, Brutal FPV, Experimental RC, 661 FPV, Love Drummer is here, Learning to Fly again, Chon Wang is here, Love Drummer again, Chris I or L, Robert Forrester, Adam Squints FPV Fraze, Mike Gazale, G Dub FPV, Grey Dogs FPV, Billy D. Ooh, got it. And Mark Willis. What's up, everybody? Uh, if you want to talk to me, you're going to want to type at C I O T T I F P V and then type your comment. That'll light at C I D F P V up in orange so that I see your comment. Ken Hill did hashtag CIDFPV, and that lit up an orange, too. That's interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, what's up, Ken Hill? How are you? Uh, who else said hello? Who else said hello? Steven Rossi says, let's talk about this car meet yesterday. Ended up over 300 cars. I'm exhausted, but I got some amazing shots. Very cool, Steven. Keep doing it. Love Drummer says, hi-ho. Hi-ho to you as well. Lovely drummer. Uh, you're in good company. I started playing drums when I was nine years old. Uh, Rob Axison says, Would love to send you my Insta360 Go, but I have a feeling it wouldn't survive long. Yeah, Rob, I gotta buy one from a, 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 the closest Best Buy possible, and I have to buy the shit out of the $20 uh, FPV Geek. Or, not FPV Geek, Jesus. Geek Squad uh, protection plan, because I'm gonna batter the shit out of that Insta360 Insta Go that I eventually get. Um, speaking of, I figured out that I can type into, into OBS, it's on this side. Uh, so there it is, the Insta360 Go Fund. Marley Lepo is getting in on the action, trying to bump that up with 20 Norwegian kroner. Let's figure out what 20 NOK in US is. All right, Insta360 GoFund has moved from $7 to $8.99. Let me see if I can remember how to do that. I remembered $9. Thank you, Marla. Marley, much appreciated. Steven Rossi back to back in it, starting the Super Chat train with two more dollars. Moving up to 11 out of 200. Look at us go. Look at us go my friends there it is 11 out of 200 it's gonna happen i can feel it uh 10 30 tonight so in 20 minutes we're doing the giveaways three patreon giveaways one super chat giveaway if you'd like to get in on the patreon giveaways there's a link right down here to my patreon uh get on over there for three bucks, you can get in the door, and that gets you access to all the good articles and fun shit that we've been working on forever. Um, <laughs> yeah, Carl, believe me, I made that Comic Sans on purpose to be as uh, as as unprofessional as, as possible. Um, the five dollar tier over on Patreon, the ten dollar tier, and the twenty dollar tier, and the thirty dollar tier, all get you in on the giveaways. Here's how it works. Five bucks a month gets you entered into the uh, toothpick and tiny whoop stuff giveaways. Every Monday, I do a giveaway for uh, an item that is relevant to tiny whoops and toothpicks. Um, so the five dollar tier gets you entered into that giveaway. Uh, the ten dollar tier over there gets you entered into three inch micro brushless stuff, things that are you know more for the heavier uh, micros. 20 bucks a month gets you on the 5 inch tier. That's going to be a 5 inch thing of. Well, here, let me. I don't know why I talk about it so much without showing you guys. Um, here's what the giveaways are tonight Tiny Whoop tier is a big old prop pack. We've got a bunch of the 3016 by 3 Gem Fan props, 
And then we've also got a bunch of the three by three by two by blade HQ props. Um, six bags of props in here. So if you're interested, five bucks a month is all it'll take to get into tonight's giveaway. Ha 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 ha. The $10 tier is uh, three inch micro brushless. These are beefier propellers, more for acrobat ish style micro rigs. You know, 200 ish gram all up weight. Uh, we've got some T-Motor 3140s in here, we've got some 4-Blade HQs, some Gemfan 3028s, uh, some Azure 3060s, some Avan 3-inch props, uh, I think that's all that's in there. So yeah, that's the $10 tier for the night. And then, for the $20 tier, for the 5-inch rigs, we've got a Dolphin Frame with a run cam something. <laughs> I forget what it's called. Uh, Runcam Eagle 2 Pro. This is the one with the uh, the bigger lens and the wonderful night flying capabilities. Um, so yeah, this is the uh, a lightly used dolphin frame with all the hardware you need and a camera for the 5 inch tier tonight. If you've got mad money and you've got tiny whoops, toothpicks, 3 inch micro brushless rigs and 5 inch rigs, there's a $30 a month tier just for you. That's going to put you onto three giveaways, all three of these giveaways that we just talked about every single Monday. So 12 giveaways a month, you're bound to win something. And uh, yeah, that's how it works. And then we do a super chat giveaway where I set a random dollar value like $2 or $3 and everybody who does a um, super chat for that amount gets entered on the wheel and we spin the wheel. And... Uh, Oh, God, I almost threw up. Oh, boy. Oh, it tastes like tacos. Oh, boy. Um, for the Super Chat giveaway tonight, we've got a bunch of tiny LEDs. We've got the wackiest props ever. This is a six-blade 5040, 5-inch prop. And then we've got these Emacs S5.75 by blades in a whole bunch of different colors. And there's a whole bunch in here. I think there's like five or six sets in here. Um, so, yeah, guys, doing mad stuff. Mad giveaways. That's what the kids say, right? Mad? Is that still a thing? I'm 39. I've given up on, on the kids. Uh, the, the fucking train left the station, so let's get caught up. Adam Fraze with a $20 super chat. Adam, you're the man. Adam asks, did I hear something about a train? You did, brother. And the motherfucker has left the station. So let's get this updated here. Adam put, brings us up to 31 goddamn dollars. Thank you, Adam. You're the man. Uh, then we had Copter612 coming in with $4.20. Such a specific amount. It's almost like it means something. Thank you, Copter. You are the man. We are going to update this to 35 and 20 cents. Such a specific amount. 420. I don't know. Re uh, Marley Lepo coming in. <laughs> Marley says, I'm rich as hell! With 20 more Norwegian kroners. We're going to bump it up to 3720. Ooh! Getting. It's getting. We're getting towards it, man. We're getting there. Then Remy Tim came in and threw it all back off and did $4.80. I'm just trying to keep it an even dollar amount, he says. And I can already see Tiago fucked it all up. Although maybe not, maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe 2286 will will even out. We gotta add uh, we gotta add Daniel's 480 here, so that's gonna be oh fucking math shit. Is that bringing us up to 40? I think that's bringing us up to 40. If not, you know, whatever. No, I think it's 40. Correct my math. Somebody correct my math. I don't know. You guys let me know. Tiago Ramos with 2286 R's. Let's see what what 2286 R's are. 22.86 R in USD is what I typed into Google. And Google seems to think that R stands for South African Rands. I don't think that's it, Google. I think you had unfucked up. I think R stands for...
Shit, I forgot. You gotta remind me, Tiago. <laughs> I don't remember. Is it is it Reals? It's Reals. That's what it is. R is for Real, and Reals are in. Is it Brazil? Brazil? Yeah. It is. Four to oh, there it is. Four twenty. Such a specific number. Damn. All right, here we go. We're going to go up to 44. Math. Man, math. It's hard. 4420. Look at us go. 4420. I think that's right. Um, if it's not, you know. Could you guys hear her? Damn. Daniel said, uh, you're right and I'm wrong. Yeah. Deal with it. Correct. There we go. We're good to go. <laughs> Troy Casperson is super into the crazy props. Troy Casperson has, has, has some six-blade props soon to be packed up and shipped out to him. Um, all right, so what do we got? Uh, not a lot of time left. Okay, we've got 13 minutes left until we do giveaways. So there you guys go. Uh, Learning to Fly says, okay, all this prop talk, may I ask about Force 1, Bugs 2, clone-compatible props? Um... Um, a, an interesting sequence of words. Unfortunately, I don't understand that sequence of words. Force one bugs two clone compatible props. Hmm. Uh, Carl says six blade props. Why they work? Um, no clue on the why, but they do work. They do work. They definitely work, and they're super interesting. They're not good, but they're super interesting, and and it'll uh. It'll just melt your brain. Uh, Braden says, dang, I was hoping the giveaway would be for some six-blade tiny whoop props. Uh, no such thing exists, unfortunately, Braden. The best you're going to find is a four-blade tiny whoop prop, um, of which you want to buy the gem fan. That is the, um, according to, in my opinion, the best freestyle tiny whoop pilot in the land, SR-13, FPV. Um, they're the ones you want, the gem fan four blades. Experimental RC says, we are having a drift event, and a lot of FPV guys will be there in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina this Sunday. You should come. Um, unfortunately, Experimental Myrtle Beach is now a whole hell of a lot farther away from me uh, than it used to be. I used to be two hours from there. Now I am seven hours from there. Um, so, yeah, can't really can't really make that long of a drive, um, especially because there's, there's drift uh, groups here in Atlanta. Um, but... You're gonna have a blast. Uh, that that's the the Myrtle Beach group are who um, my drift video is of. Um, so yeah, cool group of guys, uh, and uh, they'll probably be cool with you ramming your quad into their cars as well. Uh, but just ask them to be cool ahead of time. Rob Axelson says slightly used sounds like a used car salesman. Hell yeah. Dave's FPV says I'm going to the gas station. Don't spin until I get back. You've got until 10:30, Dave. Uh, Carl says, six blade? Why would someone want that? Are they good? Um, uh, they're not good, but, you know, <laughs> you want them because they're crazy. Uh, EK Ripper says, just got my Insta360 go today. It's pretty damn solid on the micros. Has FPV stabilization now, so the horizon can be locked for acro with stabilization. EK, I am very much looking forward to getting my hands on one of those as well. Um... I probably won't use that stabilization if I'm totally honest, but uh, the quality that that thing, the the bit rate and the and just the general quality of it in 1080 is just fantastic. The, some of the best I've seen for for micros. So yeah, we're going for it. Uh, Troy, Troy Casperson with three bucks, he wants more crazy props. Well, Troy, if you wait about eh, 15 minutes, you can get yourself on the super chat thing and maybe get a second set <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying yeah. Insta360 fun being updated 44 going up to $47.20 thanks everybody thanks Troy you're the man um, thanks everybody that supports me you guys are fucking awesome uh, and yeah we're doing shit man today was uh, supposed to be the first day of the uh, gigantic motor smackdown testing on the Acrobrat uh, but instead, it fucking rained. Um, skies were blue, everything was fine, until I flew a uh, battery, and then um, it all went to hell. 
Daniel Maurer says I'm two dollars behind. I'm just gonna take him at his word and change it to forty nine twenty. Yeah, you're two dollars. Oh yeah. All right. Um, what are we doing here? What do you guys want to do? What are we doing? We're doing giveaways in nine minutes. We're doing that, so that's good. Uh, I'm caught up on chat. That's a pretty amazing. Tweet FPV literally cutting some original Tango two grips in Ciotti edition purple. Oh, let's do that. Let's give the well-deserved shout-outs to the wonderful people uh, and friends and sponsors and whatever the hell you want to call them that um, have believed in the Ciotti Collective and all of <laughs> Jimmy Nature wants to go streaking. Um, Tweet says he has competition now. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. All right. Let's... There they are. Okay. Here are the folks. Quick little shout-out there, but let's get into it. Tweet FPV. Oh, that's right. Tommy does. Yeah, and, and oh, his look cool, too. His have those uh, the things in them and the places. Tweet FPV, hanging out in the chat, cutting us some wonderful grips. Tweet FPV has offered, uh, until it's not worth it anymore, i.e., you know, you guys stop buying it from them. Uh, <laughs> Tweet FPV has been uh, doing, uh, giving away a set of his grips uh, for the Super Chat giveaways each and every week because he's just that cool of a dude. So as long as you keep making it worth it for him, in theory, he'll keep doing it. Tweet FPV, check him out. Check out his YouTube channel. He's releasing all kinds of good content. He also has a Patreon page. I encourage you guys to um, branch out in Patreon. There's all kinds of good content creators on there um, that appreciate just as much as I do um, coming on board. And, um, you know, even a couple bucks a month. If a whole bunch of people do a couple bucks a month, then that person can continue to pursue their wonderful, lovely hobby and do cool shit with it. So help him out. Help him out. Tweet FPV, help him out. He's a good dude. Up next, we've got for rectal use only. This is a sticker for me, not for you. Then we've got BMC 3D, Brent's shop. He makes the pimpiest TPU you're going to find on the internet. According to Joshua Bardwell, he did a test. Look it up, BMC 3D1. Then we've got Stan FPV. He's making some dope ducts. Take your rig, put ducts on it from Stan, and don't chop people's fingers off. Then we've got Super Deluxe. He just sent me a whole bunch of his stickers. And I keep mentioning them. Send me a bunch of your stickers. I'll mention you. Then we've got the FPV Geek. Ronda Leos. Go over to Race Day Quads or Pyrodrone and type in J-A-S. Stands for Just A Switch. It's exactly what Ron made. He made Just A Switch. But he made Just A Switch that goes onto the side of your goggles. And allows you to turn them bitches on and off without unplugging and replugging the barrel connector and wearing it out and having your goggles eventually someday shut off in mid-flight because the barrel connector is worn out. So get you a switch for the side of your goggles. You can thank me later. FPV Cycle is Bob Ruge's shop. You should go there and buy mad toothpick stuff. He's got some frames coming in on Wednesday. I'm waiting to place my order until then. So should you. Newbie Drone. They're awesome. They've hooked us up. You should buy their shit. <laughs> uh, get FPV as well. And um, they are my favorite stateside shop. And um, and Tiny's LEDs. Those are the folks who I can think of at this very moment who've been helping us out, getting in on the crazy train that we're on. Marley Lepo says, I wouldn't win, so crap, I lost draw. 20 more Norwegian kroner. Let's move our Insta fund up to 5120. Look at us go, guys. Look at us go. $51.20. We are a quarter of the way there. Uh, there were a bunch of super chats two, maybe three streams ago for the Insta 360. Uh, basically, those super chats covered the 30 plus percent that YouTube makes. So. When we hit 200, it's on. I may very well just go on Best Buy's website and order the damn thing for pickup tomorrow. Who knows? All right, guys. Let's let's get ready. Let's get ready. 
in four minutes, my phone's going to start making mad. <laughs> G-Dub loves the, loves the informational sponsor promo. Uh, I hope you guys dig it. Oh, big news. The Dacia Sandero is coming to America. No. Much better big news than that, guys. Lot, much, much better big news than that. Uh, this is going to take up the next four minutes, so just buckle up, motherfuckers. X Nova. <laughs> X. Oh, that's true, Rob. Good call. <laughs> nice. Rob's got my back. All right. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Better. 220. Um, X. Nova makes motors, and they are making uh, Evan Turner, heads up FPV, uh, his uh, 1404 motors for the Tiny Trainer. But I don't care about that. What I care about is that they make an 1804. And because of you guys, I ordered a set of them to see if they were notchy or smooth. And they're here. And they are smooth as silk, my friends. This might be the one. Um, so this is their highest KV, which is uh, 3,500 KV. That's a little bit low for 4S on 3-inch props. So um, I think that it's going to be a 5S motor in this KV if we want to run it, if it works well on a 3-inch prop. Um, if it if it's too much stator width for a three inch prop, it'll be perfect for a four inch prop. Um, and I do have a kebab four inch prototype frame here. So basically, what I'm going to do is build this out uh, and run the and I'm going to put these motors directly on it so that I can run it on both four inch props and three inch props. Um, I was going to put these directly onto the Acrobrat, but I the 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 ESC in the Acrobrat right now is is only 2S to 4S compatible. Um, I was going to change it out, but then I just really didn't feel like rewiring the whole thing and it was kind of good to go. It just needed to be transplanted from one frame to the other cuz I broke the other frame. Uh, so I didn't. So we're going to test these on this rig which is going to carry a um, a session 5 and yeah, it should be dope. But the moral of the story is tip your waiters. Uh, the moral of the story is thank God we've got one more option of a nice smooth micro-ish motor. Uh, also, it is a three millimeter motor shaft, so it'll be nice and durable. And unbelievably, uh, it is a C-clip because all these little motors are C-clips, but they give you a whole bag of extra C-clips. So the fact that it's a C-clip motor doesn't matter because the only real problem with C-clip motors is that every time you try to take the fucking thing off, it fires across the room and disappears forever, and then you can't find the specific thickness or diameter C-clip anywhere else, and you're doomed, but X... X Nova has got your back. And your boy Ciotti's got your back on the giveaway front. Let's get this shit going, yo. Giveaway time, people. All right. <laughs> the goat naming rights are still uh, are still up for grabs. It's going to I don't know. We're going to do a thing. Uh, Rob Axis says, tipping. Saw RDQ has tipping when ordering. What do you think? Um, it's a great idea. Yeah. Hell yeah. You'll No, experimental. Never, ever, ever. Um, C-clips are the devil. All right. First, oh, I got to do the thing. Okay. Uh, let me click some buttons that'll make my internet uh, have a seizure. So let's see what happens here. All right, I clicked all the buttons, guys. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right, I got to log back in. Got to log back into Patreon, guys. Hold on. 
Oh. I forget why I logged out. I had a reason for logging out. All right, we're getting there. Is it weird to have Jeremy just, like, kind of fucking judging you guys? Just... Oh. Whoa! Oh! Look at that face. Look at that face on Clarkson. Um, let me do this. I'm going to... Go to patreon.com slash CIDFPV where all the crazy shit's happening. And I'm going to go into the pilot spotlight post that I have up there that any of you can join in on and I'm going to grab one of the pilot's channels and I'm going to play that here to get somebody mad e-famous while I click the buttons in Patreon. So let's do that real quick. Uh, I'm in here, I'm scrolling, I'm looking for the posts, I'm not finding it but I know it's here somewhere. Uh, um, and D-Shot 1200 versus 2400, little help with live stream time codes. You know, just just reading out the name of some of the shit that I've written on here. Prepped some Akon AK-32 ESCs, Speedy B... Na Speedy V... Oh, fuck you. Speedy B via TBS Nano. You know, lots of good stuff in here. Amazing description of D-Min Advance versus D-Min Boost. All the good stuff, man. All the good stuff. Three bucks a month. Woo! All right, come on. I gotta find it. Where the hell is it? Patron... Pilot Spotlight. I found it. Let's see who's up next. I think Billy, Big Willie was the last one that we featured on here. So let's look for the biggest of Willies. There he is. Below Big Willie is William DeVries. So William gets his video played. All right, William. Here we go, brother. Go into your video. I'm going to move it over here. I'm gonna go over here with the other thing, which I need. Alright guys, here comes a minute and 15 of Billy D. FPV. One of our wonderful, supportive patrons. Here you go, Billy. Here's your big moment. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Hold on. Hitting all the wrong buttons. Why is there no audio? What's happening? Why? Why? Okay. I'm gonna, um... Oh. Well, that's actually kind of good. I gotta put my own soundtrack over this uh, in hopes that I don't get copyright stricken. Here we go. All right.
If I drove to you tonight, would you want to get away? We could get on a flight and leave today. My mind has been running wild, thinking of where I'd rather be now. I know it has been a while since you envisioned what you once dreamed of. Will you take my hand and run? Won't you take my hand and we can get away? We go. Our dreams will be waking down the road. All I know is we'll be reflecting back when we are old. Let's just run. And as we move, we'll see your love this time. Future starts today, and I'm in love with the sight. There's nothing I would change. When you are here by my side, you're the wind in the ceiling. I'm in the ocean. We can feel alive, riding these waves out in the open. Will you take my hand and run? Won't you take my hand and we can get away? Here we go. Dreams will be waking down the road. All I know is we'll be reflecting back when we are old. There it be, everybody. Here's Billy's channel. Head on over there and get that 54 subscriber number up. Or else. <laughs> I am almost done with the wheels. Things got all jacked up and I had to manually manual the manual. Here you go. All right. Uh, as a ace man is out of here, this is rubbish. As a ace man doesn't like when other people get their videos shown on other people's streams. So that's all right. Sorry, brother. Sorry, I couldn't entertain you better. I like to support the folks that support me just the way I am. All right, guys, let's get it going. I think we've got this set here. Let me just check something real fast. We've got William Barlow in here. We've got... Okay. So the, uh, the, the, the wheels got a little screwed up, so let me just... Um, I just want to make sure that we're good to go. So... Okay, so the Tiny Whoop tier is from Andy to... Tw Let me just make sure. Andy, and then there is Tweet. Okay, cool. So, Tiny Whoop tier is good to go. Next tier, 3-inch micro brushless, is from Adam to Tim. Let's just make sure. Adam down to... Tim, there it is. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Good so far. And then $20 tier is Daniel to Whiplash. And we've got Daniel down to Whiplash. Okay, that's good. But I need to add this. Okay, all right, we're about to be good. One second, one second. Appreciate your patience. And just want to make sure that we get this right. I don't like to do giveaways when they're wrong. Just as, you know, general principle. Okay, so that's good to go. Uh, advanced options, make the wheel big, and here we go. There's one. Here comes number two. 
I'll let you guys see what I'm doing. In one oh, I'm such a jackass. I just cleared all the choices. That was so stupid. Okay. We're going to look at somebody else's channel. God damn it. <laughs> Welcome to the shit show, everybody. Uh, William, you're going to have to check that, brother. I, I, I just can't check uh, individual people anymore. Sorry, brother. Um, let's give one more wonderful Patreon supporter their moment of fame. If you can really call it that. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> My fame is, is quite limited. Um... <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go... Hey, it's Carl. Carl's about to get his minute in the spotlight. All right, Carl. I got to fix this tier. We're going to go four hours ago. Sunday, fun day, Jacksonville, Florida. Oh my God, there's no views. Get the hell out of here with that. We're going to fix that shit up right now. Some royalty-free music for you. You guys see how Carl's playing around up in those branches of the trees? That's such good proximity practice. Um, that's such a good example of like, you know, even if you just have a spot with some trees, find stuff like that in those trees to force yourself to shoot smaller holes. I'm, uh, I'm digging that, Carl. Keep getting after it nice and smooth. Look at that stop. Stopping it right there like that. What the hell? What, what car is that, Carl? What is that? Is that that Lexus hatchback? Ooh, screw FPV, man. I need that car. All right, guys, I'm finally ready. Let me hit the right buttons here, hopefully. All right, cool. Anybody else bitching in the chat about not uh, not liking the stream? Anybody else? No? Nobody? All right, cool. If there are, just tell them to fuck off. You guys have my permission. They can fuck right back to Africa. I mean, I don't know why Africa. It's just a big continent. Um, all right, good shit, Carl. Good flying, brother. Nice and smooth. Let's get some giveaways on. What do you guys think? All right, here we've got our wheel. Let me pull this chat off the side here. Ah, oh, it's a works. All right, all right, all right. Rumbling down the highway. Is, uh, no, I'm not going to get into the WRX. I'm not going to get into the Subaru trashes because that's just mean. 
I'm, try, I'm consciously trying to, to shit on you guys less. It's, it's, it's just, as a general rule, I should I should make less fun of, of of my wonderfully supportive viewers, eh? All right, here we go. Five. Five. What's five? Um, toothpick and tiny whoop tear. Uh, Thirty sixteen by threes and. Why can't I ever remember the name of these fucking props? HQ 3x2x2s. There they are. Little prop pack to keep you going. Let's get... Why is the... Woo! Okay, there we go. Everything's fine. Nobody panic. The wheel goes round and round. Whose name shall it pick? I think it's going to be white. It's white. Marcel Robert! You've won, sir. I'm going to copy and paste your name into my... Uh, or I'm going to... This spin doesn't count. I'm not even going to show you guys who wins because the person who comes up there is going to be very upset because they won, but they actually didn't win. Marcel Robert, congratulations. I will message you on Patreon to get your address, and then I'll send you some props, brother. Let me just type your name in here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, we live and we learn. What's today? Today is 5-25-2020. Happy Memorial Day to any memorial people that we have in here. <laughs> All you veterans out there, thanks for all that you do. Marcel Robert was the winner of uh, 3016 and 3x2x2 prop pack. All right, I've left myself a note. That way I won't forget. Next up. We've got the three inch micro brushless tier with it, which is pretty much, this is pretty much all of the decent prop options for you guys. This is, this, these are the props that you want. So it'll, uh, yeah, this will be dope. You'll get to, to head to head all of them, figure out which ones you like, and then buy a bunch more of those. Here we go with the second wheel with names. Oh, 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 here, here, here. Uh, proof of uh, proof of life, proof of life, proof of entry, proof of life. There you guys go. First page, you guys can rewind in this stream. I cannot. So if you want to make sure that you're on the wheels, here you go. Second page, third page, and fourth page. That's the um, tiny whoop and toothpick tier. Here is the three inch micro brushless tier. Proof of life, page one and page two. And page three-ish, kinda. We're gonna spin it, and we're gonna see who wins. With a goat. <coughs> who shall it be? I think it's gonna be Robert McManus! <laughs> Robert B. McManus is my best friend in the world. Uh, Brad McManus, McManus FPV, M-C-M-E-N-A-C-E. Fantastic pilot. Check him out here on YouTube. Um, I can all but guarantee that when I tell him that you want, he won these, he will tell me to um, do it again. So I'm going to preemptively re-spin the wheel because I just know Brad all that well. I've known Brad for probably about 20 years, come to think of it. That's crazy. So on behalf of Robert B. McManus, whether he likes it or not, McManus FPV, as long as he gets one subscription, it's well worth it. I'm gonna type it in here, McManus FPV. There you guys go, at least one of you will sub to him or else I will kill you all in your sleep as I respin this goddamn wheel on behalf of McManus FPV because he's just a good dude and that's the way he plays it. Here we go. Who shall win Brad's props? It's going to be EJ. No, Dino steals it at the last second. Dino De Laurentis. Congratulations. Brad McManus just hooked you up with his props. And for that, you better go subscribe to him. 
It better not just be you either. I better see at least two subs, subs on his channel. Go get it. Um, kill 68 people, Dave's FPV says. Uh, congratulations. Dino, let me put your name on the thing in the place. And that way I won't forget. D-I-N-O-D-E-L-A-U-R-E-N-T-I-S. And Dino won the three-inch prop pack. One of each. There it is. And for the big one, the big one, here is your proof of entry in the five-inch tier. Page one, page two. This is a very lightly used and, and properly loved uh, dolphin frame with a full-size run cam Eagle 2 Pro. Such a beautiful camera, such a beautiful frame. Sad to see it go, but I can't wait to see one of you guys batter the shit out of it. Who's it going to be? Wait, hold on. This is going to be a big one. i got to prepare for this one. <laughs> Fucker. God damn it. I tried. I tried. Who's going to win? It's going to be EJ Blavel! Wait a second. Did I just spin the same wheel? God damn it. I think I just spun the same wheel. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. RC Mass Master lost a rig today. Ugh. I'll pour one out for you, RC, man. That blows. Um, okay, let's... <laughs> I, I think I fucked the wheel up. There's Troy winning from last week. Uh, let me... Uh, okay, let me put the camera on my stupid face, and I will figure out... What the hell happened here? That, that could be legit. That could totally be legit, but um, I just want to make sure. Hold on. Hold on. Well, Dino is on the $30 a month tier. Dino may have just won twice in a row. We haven't had that happen before. All right, so let me see here. I've got this wheel here, which starts with Adam, and it ends with William Barlow. Next one... Starts with Daniel and ends with William Barlow. Look at that. Well, for the first time ever, we've got a double winner in the same night. That fucking $30 tier is doing it. Dino, congrats, man. Saved me on shipping, too. Fuck. Dino wins the three inch props and the five inch frame. What a night. What a night for Dino. Dino, are you in here? Dino, are you here? Are you here to see this? monumentous occasion this might never happen again damn son dave's fpv is gonna make a better wheel for me that picks him more often because i don't think he's won yet a bunch of you guys haven't won yet and we got dino winning twice in a row jesus christ on a crutch damn dino doing it dolphin frame all right that brings us to the last giveaway of the night, the Super Chat giveaway. What? How dare you make that noise, OBS. Super Chat giveaway is going to be a set of Tweet FPV, beautifully beautiful transmitter grips in either Super Secret Ciotti FPV purple, or you could just be boring and get black, or he's got some other colors. But, you know, if you don't get the purple, you're dead to me. Uh, you're <laughs> and then I'm going to ship you uh, a big old bag of these Avan S5.75 by blades which haul all the ass while being all the efficient. A crazy set of Racecraft 6 blade props, 5 inch props, and a bunch of Tiny's LEDs. Uh, these are actually addressables in here. Um, uh, looks like 4 addressables and then 4 of the simple... Uh, just wire them up to VBAT in yellow and blue. Um, so, awesome little prize pack. Let's go... Three bucks. Three dollars Super Chat. Get you in on this Super Chat giveaway for mad stuff. Three dollars. If you do six dollars, I'll put you on the wheel twice. 
if you do nine dollars I just did that for fun I'll put you on the wheel three times if you see what I'm getting at you guys know what's up here we go let's see them super chats uh, while that's going down I'm gonna go poop Nah, I'm just kidding I wouldn't do that to you guys I only poop during the day once it's nighttime I just hold it till the next day love drummer getting in there first loving them <laughs> Dave, Dave's FPV is next <laughs> <laughs> all right dave i gotta i gotta look you up dave. i gotta see how long you've been on patreon and and, and haven't won dave so hold on uh poor dave's fpv uh when i say that some people have never won i'm just talking about him because i think he's the only one that hasn't won uh dave what what's your last name i i have to look how long you've been <laughs> Actually, yeah, you know what? There, there are a bunch of people who haven't won. Krunked hasn't won either. Who, who hasn't won yet? Who? Okay, so if you haven't won, um, let let's we'll do a uh, we'll do a contest. <laughs> we'll do some sort of a contest. If you haven't won, how many months have you been on my Patreon? You haven't won. Highest number? Um, I'll just I'll just give you. Some, I'll just send you something. How about that? I'll I'll make somebody feel better. Um, honor system though. Honor system. You gotta don't just say. 10 months while crunked wins since he says since it started so um any anybody else who's been uh, a patron since the beginning um post it in the chat and i'll put you guys all on a wheel and one of you guys will win something <laughs> ah, all right let me start let me start adding people to the wheel um <laughs> this is, this is the fucking wheels have it out for some of you guys and i feel so bad because there's people who've won like four and five times now <laughs> it makes no sense but i don't know dude i fucking type the names in and i click the button and it, it seems to be somewhat random maybe it's not maybe the maybe wheeldecide.com has been paid off by half of my patreon people love drummer goes on the wheel first l-u-v-d-r-u-m-m-e-r then, let's make this a little smaller here so I can see both at once. Both of you at once? Okay then. I'll kick your monkey ass as my fucking self. Who knows either the song or the group that that super obscure quote is from? Dave's FPV is next. Just pee in the wind, getting piss all over his pants and his shoes. It's 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock, according to my computer. Dave, I can feel it. This this is it. Love Drummer getting in again. Doubling up. Here's what I'm going to do for you, Love Drummer. I'm going to move Dave's... I'm going to move Diaz is the way I typed it down. I'm going to put you twice in a row here. That way, you take up a whole section of the wheel. And it'll look like you have a better chance to win that way. But it's actually not true. Euro for $3 getting in. Y-U-R-O-E-H... Who else is in? Nathaniel LaBeouf is in. L-E-B-O-U-F. I could have just clicked. William Barlow getting in the door. Hopefully he puts a door stopper in it for some others. Dad jokes. Braden getting in twice. P-R-A-E-D-O-N. All copy paste. And I'm going to give it another minute or two, and then we're going to shut this mother down. Market Zero is feeling lucky. That is a surefire way to not win, is to say that you're feeling lucky. Maybe he'll prove me wrong, though. Oh, Love Drummer getting in with another three bucks. Troy Casperson won last time, but he's broke today. Well, luckily, you got some six blades coming at you, brother. Um, Love Drummer is going for it. I'm going to give it 30 more seconds and then end it. And then we'll move on. And we'll start talking questions. And Carl says, how long is that? Oh. Um, oh, since the beginning. Um, 
<laughs> Krunk says racist wheel. <laughs> G-Dub got it. Damn. A bunch of you guys got it. Really? I thought that was fairly obscure. Um, although, what the, I guess that um, I guess that skit comes after um, a relatively well-known song, right? Um, oh, fuck. What's the name of that song that it comes after? I was just listening to it the other day. Um, uh, rock, um, ah, balls. As soon as I figure this out, the, it's, the, oh shit, somebody's, somebody's thrown in for somebody else, I see it. Hold on, it's, um, it's gonna drive me insane if I don't, um, look it up. Um, one of you guys will probably call it out. Chan Wang has won six months. Y'all man flights with two dollars. Uh, Y'all man flights, do one more dollar and I'll get you on the wheel. It's three bucks. Uh, will you? All right. So, Dave's, I'm gonna move you one more time here because I want to put all of Love Drummer next to each other. All right. So there we go with that. Roscoe did two a dollars. For Big Willie, I don't know what an $8 is, but I'm just going to assume that it's the same as three uh, um, fat American cheeseburger dollars. So we're going Big Willie. You guys are awesome. Trying to get each other to win. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you wonderful people. Y'all man flights. I'm going to assume that you're going to shoot another buck over, so I'll put you on the wheel. And then William Barlow is getting in here again. I think I've got him on here once already, though. All right, we're going to move Nathaniel to the bottom so that we can put William next to himself. It's just the way we do it. Just the way we do it. Bidding is now closed. Not really bidding. Um, Y'all Man is still on the hook for another dollar, but that's okay. Oh, Y'all Man sends another $2, so now he's in the wheel 1.33 times. Let's just spin this goddamn wheel. What do you guys think? Uh, wheel diameter 1200, applying wheel changes, clicking the button, Dave's FPV is still peeing, he's about to win, he's about to have piss all over his pants and he's gonna win, ready? And here it comes, it's the day, nope, he's all the way on the other side of the wheel already, William Barlow wins it, <laughs> sorry Dave, William Barlow with the double spot next to each other, and he takes it. So I'm going to type his name in over here. Congratulations, William. Thank God you got that second one, dude. It landed on the second one. You would have been asked out. B-A-R-L-O-W. And uh, so, William, you got some work to do. You need to message Tweet FPV and give him all your info and tell him what transmitter you want the grips for and what uh, color you want them in. And then you need to do the same thing with me. Message me on uh, Facebook. Instagram, Patreon, or here on, you can't message on YouTube anymore. Uh, at Ciati FPV, I need to know what you won. So tell me that you won the Biblade Avans, the Six Blade Racecrafts, and the Tiny's LEDs, and first and last name, address, uh, and that's it. Let's see those questions in the chat with at Ciati FPV in front of them so that I can find them uh six blade um avon by blade and tinies ladies Ooh, sleepy times are here again sending myself an email we did it and we did it before 11 o'clock no we didn't someday i will get these giveaways done before 11 o'clock and we'll have a goddamn party in my honor but that day is not tonight and that's okay that's okay it's gonna be okay nobody panic all right guys let's see them questions we got the formalities out of the way now we can talk fpv close this window uh, Copter612 says, any 5-inch frame recommendations other than the Glide? Um, uh, 
Um, source one, I've heard, is really good. Well, tell me this. What, uh, what, what are you looking to, to... Get out of here, fly! What are you looking to do? Um, yeah, what are you looking to do? Jafar says add 40 to the Insta count. Uh, the Insta count. Uh, Jafar, did you total up the, uh, those, uh, things in the, in the places? I'm assuming. Oh my god, how did I miss a $40 super chat? Fuck. What? How's that possible? Oh my god! How did that happen? Wait a second. Dude. Alright, well. Tweet FPV. In, in standard Tweet FPV fashion. Just being an awesome dude with a $40 super chat. He just wants to see what sick videos you'll make with it. I'll make with it. Deal, Dan. God damn it. Thank you, brother. Very, very cool. We're going to go from 51 to 91. Look at that shit. We are almost halfway there because you guys are awesome. Look at that. Jesus. Sorry I missed that. Thank you for reminding me, everyone. All right. David Kronika says, hooray, my package arrived from you. Unfortunately, I don't get back home until Sunday. Oh, <laughs> that's, uh, that is frustrating. I That frustrates me. Can't imagine how you feel. Rob Axelson says, play some MC Hammer. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, what Rob is talking about is if, if for whatever reason, you know, you're like, oh, I want to watch all the Quarren streams. And, uh, and, you, and you, you watch 10 of them in a row. And then you're like, what the fuck? Where did 11 go? Apparently... You can't just come on YouTube Live and just play MC Hammer videos your entire stream. Apparently that's not allowed. So, yeah. Number 11 is gone forever. But we learned a lesson. Don't play MC Hammer music videos. If you're going to play MC Hammer, just play the audio. Don't play the video too. You're going to want to play the video because the fucking guy is wearing a, a, a just... Workout clothes, I guess, is what it is. It's it amounts to like, like, fucking spaghetti strap things here, and then it came all the way down, all the way down to like his 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 MC Hammer belly button. Just go watch the goddamn music video. I can't play it for you because YouTube will come to my house and stab me. Um, but just go do yourself a favor, and in its entirety, watch. Hammer time, beginning to end, and man, you'll feel a lot better about yourself and, and the clothes that you're wearing, because, whew, there are some outfits in that thing. Brian Ladmoreau tried to tag me, but he got the letters all mixed up, but that's okay. I still saw it, somehow. He said he destroyed his first glide frame today, broke both top and bottom plates, bent all the standoffs... And destroyed an Osmo action as well. <laughs> Slammed into a light post hard. Um, damn, Brian. That's a good one. Uh, I have I have had one, one wreck that I did the same. I've had one wreck where I broke top, bottom, um, and a bunch of standoffs. And it was a big one. So yeah, I that must have been quite the slam. Um, two thumbs up for you. Fucking... That's how you that that's how you gotta do it, man. You gotta just go in there and just bash into shit. That's that's where it's at. That's the the beautiful thing about our one of the many beautiful things about this hobby. Uh, Dave's FPV says he still doesn't know how to post on Patreon. That's okay, Dave's. I don't know how to check the fucking Patreon, so you know who's worse. Uh, and it's my Patreon, so I'm worse. Jafar says, "How is the DJI FPV system different from Fat Sharks, and why do people lose it as soon as they put them on?" Um, so. Uh, to make a long story short, Jafar, um, Fat Sharks and just analog FPV uh, in general is, I guess it's 640 by 80 for 480, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's 640 by 480. So um, 640 pixels wide, 480 pixels tall. Um, DJI runs at... Is it 720p in the goggles? I want to say it's 720p in the goggles. It might be 1080 in the goggles, but it's considered HD. So it's either um, 720 pixels tall 
and a thousand and twenty four, I think is the number wide. Or if it's, I don't think it's 1080, but if it was 1080, it would be 10, uh, 1080 pixels tall by 1468 wide. Uh, more pixels. HD versus standard definition. Um, so w the first time you put the DJI FPV system on, you go, holy shit, that's the first thing you say. And then you say, um, it's like looking through a GoPro. Those are the two things that... Everybody says when they look through DJI um, goggles for the first time, um, <clears throat> I, I'm very, very, very much looking forward to upgrading at some point. Um, not yet. Uh, I'm still waiting for it to get a little bit lighter and just a little bit more saturated and, and kind of out there. Uh, but it's coming. Coming soon. Because it is better. It, it, it just is. It's better. It deals with multipathing better. Um... It's HD, you can see Scraggle, you can see, you know, all those times that you're flying in, in regular, um, with regular FPV gear, and just, like, for no reason whatsoever, your quad goes, bah! because it hit a completely invisible branch. Um, that tends to not happen when you're flying with the DJI setup, because there's more pixels to show you that, that really skinny thing that fucking grabbed you and tried to throw you in the lake. So, yeah. Off Axis FPV is here. What's up, brother? Uh, Troy Casperson thanks, says, Thank you for remembering us veterans. Memorial Day is more for those who didn't get home. Yeah, for sure, Troy, for sure. Um, yeah, man, you guys and, and, and all the rest, uh, thanks for everything you guys do. We all appreciate it, even though we don't say it. We really don't, but we do. Uh, Adam says, Thumbs up. Uh, David Kernikus is beginning to think... David Kernika, not Kernikis, uh, is beginning to think the GOAT doesn't like this Cubs fan. The GOAT has nothing to do with it, David. Don't you talk shit on this GOAT! Um, <laughs> I don't know why I got so upset. Dave's FPV says, uh, I'm about to program a better wheel for you. GW FPV says, uh, my, bu my bud sold me all of his gear, thinking about starting a channel. Uh, what says the collective? Oh, yeah, GW, for sure. Um, all you guys, you have to, you have to, I mean, you already do have a channel because you're here um but you got to fill that channel up with with stuff man we all need to watch each other fly and encourage each other and uh yeah because this hobby can get you down it can make you not ever want to fly again because you just lit the 30 sc on fire and it makes no sense why and maybe it's because the stupid assholes that made it put voltage into the mounting holes or maybe that was just me when I was starting out. For you, it'll be a completely different, completely asinine reason that the thing that you were just building caught on fire. Or you went to fly it and it just disappeared into... I don't know. <laughs> scrolling down, scrolling, 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 scrolling. Um, I said I would do another super chat or wheel thing, but I lied, because it's a hot mess in the chat. There's too many people in the chat for me to say, hey, everybody that's been on Patreon for the longest time, just post and I'll do it. I don't know what I was thinking in, in saying that, so... Uh, yeah, I'm a jerk. Uh, just call me whatever bad names you want. Roscoe6 says, hey guys, what's up? What's up with you, Roscoe? Private Island says, I don't care what I've won. I think you do have support. I wish I could help more. Private Island and everybody, all you guys... Um, just hanging out is all the support that I've ever wanted. Um, when when I first started doing the, the live streams and there were like three or four or five people, um, I thought it was awesome that there were three people willing to hang out with me. Um, now that there's 60 of you, it's even more awesome. Um, the Patreon started because you guys, you guys told me to do it. And I resisted and you guys remained persistent and kept telling me, hey, we want to support you. And eventually I said, all right, all right, all right, I'll let you guys support me. Um, and it's been amazing. And it, it enables me to do um, some really cool testing and, and build more stuff than I thought I would be able to build um, and try, you know, stuff like this. I would have never bought these motors. Like, if it was my own money, I would never have bought these motors because 
1804 is a weird size and I could very well have spent 50 bucks, um, which is a lot of money to me, um, on motors that I couldn't do anything with. Uh, but because of you guys, it's a real thing. And um, I don't take that lightly. And I know I probably call this out too often, but if you think it's too often, then screw you. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys mad props for, for all this. And, yeah, it's, it's just, it means a lot. And uh, it's super cool, and you guys rule. So thank you, every single one of you. Um, being here, hanging out, is all that I'll ever ask from any of you guys. Um, it, it actually, like, it weirdly makes me feel better. So when, when um, about once a month, somebody will hop off of, like, the 20 or the $30 tier down to like the three dollar tier and a lot of times they'll message me and like yo Scotty, i'm so sorry man i just got laid off or um you know there's something going on in my life and like it i it's so funny because i'm just like no i always reply back like no 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 like don't apologize for that but like it it's super cool that you guys like it's it's just it's amazing that you guys are are like you care enough to even send that message. That's what it is, right? Like it's 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 just it's just super dope, and and it, it really like renews my faith in humanity sometimes. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks guys. You you're you're all fucking awesome, and um, yeah. Chan Wang says I have not won for six months. Chan Wang, it's gonna be next week. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Roscoe Six says Australian dollars. Oh, okay. So that's what the A was. Got it. Uh, how's the laptop doing, says Big Willie. It's good. It's right here. I haven't flipped it open in days because I'm a lazy sack of shit. No, um, I am prioritizing FPV over everything um, right now. Uh, the The Quarren stream was my way of just kind of going, okay, I'm going to give 30 days to FPV. Um, I just got laid off. This is the time. Um, this is the time chance to try this and to see if it's something that realistically could be um a full-time thing for me uh so like i've i've just i'm just ignoring other things and the the, the deal with the laptop is the laptop is faster than the uh than the 13 year old apple tower that uh, i'm coming to you guys from right now uh but getting everything moved over to the laptop is going to take a bunch of time and I'm just really focused on FPV stuff. So I'm either at the workbench or I'm here talking to you guys or I'm doing social media related shit to try to just push these corn streams and the review um, live streams and whatever else I've got going on out into the world um, to see what happens, to see what we can do in 30 days. Uh, so yeah, we got, what, eight more days? We'll see where we're at. Eight more days. I won't necessarily stop streaming, but in eight days, I'm going to sit down and say, okay, um, how much did this grow in 30? Um, how much did it grow before that? And can I keep pushing this hard? And if I keep pushing this hard, how long before, you know, with the way that the growth has been, um, how long before I can feed our family from this? And yeah, I'll either keep going hard, full time, or I will s fix my resume and start looking for another day job. Um, truth be told, I'll probably start looking for another day job because I have a college education and a career in project management. Um, not a college education in project management, but a career in project management. Um, and I can make a lot of money as, as a PM. And to make that same amount of money from FPV, might not be realistic so we'll see there are very few people that have been able to do that i will say that uh and i just don't know if i'm talented driven whatever enough to be one of those people but you'll find out when i find out <laughs> we're I, I yeah i mean i'm just going for it and we'll see what happens so uh tweet fpv dropped a link to his etsy store and his instagram everybody go subscribe and get you some dope ass grips. Marley Lepo with 50 more Norwegian Kroner. I forget what the uh, the exchange rate is. I gotta look it up again. N O K to U S. 497. Another five dollars into the Insta 360 Go Fund. Oh my God. Almost. 
Almost died there. 96.20. Look at us go. Here we go. Pick it up speed. Uh, Copter 612, where is your response to me asking you what kind of a rig you wanted to build? I don't see it. Copter, where is it? Copter tagged me and said... God damn it. Oh my god, okay. I'm I'm way but I I missed the whole big section of the chat. Okay. There it is. Uh Copter's got the glide hammer and the source one. They take a beating. Is there anything that 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 fits that group based on price and durability? Not really. I think those are really like those two frames in in my opinion, those are like some of the only frames where you get more than you pay for. Um, in my opinion. Totally my opinion. Um, there's a lot of really good frames out there, but a lot of them are 100 bucks, and, and, um, and you're getting what you pay for with those frames. But the Source One and the Glide frames, I think you're getting more than, than what you pay for. Um, mainly because, I mean, they're, the, the, the glide frame is being made by, um, Kebab, who is a dentist. So FPV is not his source of income. Dentistry is. Uh, and then the source one is just like straight up open source, like screw it, everybody make it. Um, so that of course is always going to be, um, super inexpensive. Uh, so yeah, I, a Copter, to be honest with you, man, I would, uh, I would just start to fleet out at this point. If you have both of those frames, I would just build more of those. Just build another glide, build another source one. Um, and then in doing that, that's going to help you really focus on your piloting more than the newest, hottest frame that's going to feel a little bit different and you're going to have to adjust to it and then you're going to be missing moves and losing shit on rooftops. Um, so yeah, man, I, I would just uh, pick whichever one of those two that you like best and build another. That's kind of where I'm at. I've got four glides now. Um, one of them for cinematic stuff and then the other three for just bashing. And it's amazing because when one breaks, you're not spending an hour at the field screwing around with it, repairing it. You fucking throw it in the trunk, you grab another one, you switch your GoPro from one to the other, and away you go. Um, so, yeah, that's for sh for uh, for sure my recommendation there. I know it's a boring recommendation, but uh, there's a reason that all the top pilots fly the same rig over and over and over again. Because uh, it doesn't make a difference. RC Mass Master says, I now need a drone replacement, something fast, durable, ready to fly. Race drone would be cool. Any suggestions? You had me until RTF. Um, I am not the guy to ask about ready to fly rigs. Um, are you if if you're looking for a five inch ready to fly? I would. Shit, who covers who reviews five inch ready to fly rigs nowadays? Anybody? Chat, help me out. Uh, if you want to do a micro. Uh, no questions asked. Go sub to Nick Burns and spend some time watching uh, some of his videos. Uh, Nick Burns FPV. And uh, he's your dude for, for ready to fly micros. Uh, ready to fly 5 inch rigs. Man, I, I am. I'm drawing a complete blank. Uh, but the chat is smarter than me. So they'll hook you up. So chat, hook up RC Space Masked Space Master with some suggestions on. 5-inch, ready-to-fly rigs, maybe race rigs. Um, Eric Farmer says, check out tweets, super chat, time to update that 360 Go Fund. Thank you for that, Eric, and everybody else that uh, reminded me. Ken Hill says, you missed tweet. Okay, good. Thank you for that, Ken Hill. Dur -dur 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 -dur. Copter said, okay, we got that. Nathaniel LaBeouf with 10 bucks, here to break 100. Can't, can't wait to see you smash that thing. <laughs> well, you're going to get to see it, damn it. 96 going up to 106. You guys are awesome. 106.20. So help me God, someone better send 80 cents soon or I'm going to lose my mind. Thank you for that, Nathaniel. You're the man. It's hammer time, says Roscoe Sticks. Uh, oh, what is the matter with me? Apex, 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 Apex frame, Apex frame. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little expensive... Uh, tweet FPV. I, I, it's funny. Tweet said Apex is heavy and expensive, um, but really good. And I was I, I I read that he said Apex, and I was about to say the exact same thing. That it's 
a little bit heavier um, and a lot more expensive, but damn good frame. Damn, damn, damn good frame. Uh, in all honesty, though, I would buy two glide frames over one apex frame. I don't think that the apex frame is twice as good um, as the glide frame. Definitely not uh, the glide hammer. The uh, there's actually a chance that the that the apex frame is no stronger than the glide hammer and twice the price. So, I mean, here's here's I so um, I almost switched over to the apex frame. I, I was really um, blown away by some of the things that they did. I got to see it pretty early, um, and. I was really impressed by it. I was pretty sure it was going to be expensive. Um, I thought it was going to be more than a hundred bucks. I, I was I was kind of shocked that it was ninety something. Uh, but when it comes right down to it, um, the glide frame for half the price. It's a true X, which some people love. I don't really care about that. But um, you also get a set of. Um, Dead cat. You get a set of dead cat front arms. And the the one big thing that was driving me towards the Apex was that it was squished X. And the reason I like that is because it pulls the props a little bit more out of view of the GoPro so that you can go lower than 30 degrees up tilt before the props come into view. But you can't go all the way down to zero. At, at, at zero up tilt, there will still be props in view with the Apex, like for sure. With the glide frame, if you put the dead cat arms on it, you can go all the way down to zero, and there's no props in view. So once I kind of realized that, and then once there was also the glide hammer available, my my reasons to, to switch over to the Apex kind of vanished. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at now. It's like, I would love to have this blingy, like, awesome, great frame, but... The glide hammer is stronger because it has thicker arms, six millimeter instead of five and a half, and the regular and it's still a little bit lighter. Um, the regular glide frame is a lot lighter and still plenty strong, and it's got the dead cat arms, so it can be a full blown cinematic frame. It can be a true X frame. What's not to like? Um, so that's kind of where I'm at still to this day. It's like. Why would I fly anything different? Like the, the the glide frame for me checks all the boxes. It's got these extra little things that it can be configured to do even more. This is why I just gave away the dolphin frame actually because the dolphin frame was my cinematic rig because I liked that it was a squished X and I liked that I could move the. Um, it's got an adjustable camera mount, uh, GoPro uh, uh, platform in there. But what I realized is if I if I drop that GoPro platform down to like 20, 20 degrees up tilt or less, there's a bunch of prop in view. And you're not going to find a, a, a director in the world that's going to be okay with props in view for anything cinematic. Um, so yeah, I took those guts out and I put them into the, uh, into the glide hammer frame. Uh, speaking of, this is over here in the workbench area because I've finally had it with the, the Brain FPV board in here, uh, the 30 by 30, uh, is it Brain FPV or is it, yeah, it is Brain FPV, I always get Brain 3D and Brain FPV confused, um, yeah, I'm, I'm done with this, uh, uh, this is the second not great experience I've had with the Brain FPV boards, um, in that what I think is going on here is basically the, the Bosch gyro that they use, Yes, you could, you can sort of factually say that it's a better gyro than the Invincense that we're used to, the MPU 6000, um, but it's not a better gyro for FPV quads. Um, it doesn't have the same amount of internal filtering as the MPU 6000, and it just can't handle bent props or bent motors. Um, and that's always has been and probably always will be a deal breaker for me. So, yeah, this 30 by 30 board will be coming out of here and I'll be putting another Talon F7 up front, which is my standard glide build. So, yeah, there's that for anybody that's keeping score. 
Uh, Chris I says, my motor is shut down after I arm and give a little throttle. Warnings are on. Nothing pops up and lose all functions from the remote. Still have a picture from the VTX and OSD. Hmm. Um, interesting. No, it's cop. They're not sacrilegious at all. Preferred. Why would it be sacrilegious to put the best flight software on the best frame? Um, Chris I or L. Um, that's interesting. Uh, go. Damn. Uh, <laughs> so do this first, Chris. Go into Betaflight, go into OSD, and uh, scroll down a little bit on the... I'll do it for you. On the... Wait, no. Is this reversed? Yeah. No, wait. Right? Right side. What's right? This is right? Yeah. On the right side... is when you scroll down on the right side on the bottom is all the warnings. Make sure that the warning called... Oh, fuck, what's it called? Take off pr protect... Anti... Anti... Taz... Take, take off anti... Hold on. Is it take off protect protection? Is that what it is? I think it's take off protection. That doesn't sound right. Here we go. We're going in. All right. You're going to come in here. You're going to go here. You're going to scroll down. No, not post-flight statistics. Warnings. There we go. Oh, my God. Warnings. I want you to make sure that... Where the hell is it? Oh, I'll be damned it's not in here. So it must be on by default. <sighs> Damn it. I was really hoping that was the problem. Of course it's not that easy. Uh, okay, so takeoff protection warning is on by default. So you're not getting that warning. So you start to add throttle. And it dies. Man, that's... There's like a lot of things that it could be, but we would just be kind of like throwing darts at a dartboard if we went that open-ended. Um, Chris, do this. Uh, message me at CIDFPV on either Facebook or Instagram and uh, make me a video. I, I want to I see how high you get the throttle. I want to see if it does anything else weird. Um, make me a little video of it doing that and, and shoot it over to me and, uh, and we'll work on it uh, through, yeah, Facebook instagram or uh patreon if you're over there because there's not like a there's not like a norm other than the takeoff protection there's not oh oh okay well mm, th this is a long shot but also make sure that your uh your warnings are turned on in here make sure that your warnings are on the screen I bet you they are, because it's on by default. But just make sure that your warnings tick boxes are ticked. Um, other than the, the takeoff protection, I, there's not like a normal thing that would cause what you're uh, what you're describing. So that's that's a tough one. But we'll get we'll get to the bottom of it. Uh, message me, we'll 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 figure it out. Um, do, 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 do. Looks like you guys were helping Chris out. Thanks for that, Marley Leppo with twenty more kroner. Let's get that going here. Where is... There it is. We are up to... 111. And 20 cents. Alright. What else do we have here? <laughs> Marley says, what's up? And then 20 more kroner. Do you know from where really is your goat scream? Um... I do, and it's one of my favorite YouTube videos of all time. I've always liked the uh, the goat streaming YouTube videos for whatever reason, probably because I'm a fucking child. Uh, but yeah, when uh, when somebody at my old job actually got one of these screaming goats, I came 
uh, that night I came home home and told Kristen about it. You know, you know, it's the most exciting thing in the world. And um, I'm sure she sighed to herself, but then bought me one as a present. I think. I think she got me the goat. Pretty sure she did. All right, guys. Getting caught up. Getting caught up. Rab Axelson, RSSI slash OSD question. Got an R car and had functioning RSSI in the OSD. Updated beta flight and it's not working. Uh, oh, RXSR. Okay. Got an RXSR. Had functioning RSSI. Updated beta flight and it's not working. So. All right. Here's what you're going to check. Oh, good. Sorry, guys. Rob Axelson, here's what you're going to check. Uh, you're going to make sure in the configuration oh, in the configuration tab here, you're going to make sure that RSSI analog is off. You want it to look like this. You do not want this on. Uh, you're also going to make sure that your telemetry uh, uh, switch is turned on here for telemetry output. You're going to check your ports tab. You're going to make sure that smart port uh, is showing up somewhere in a, in a UART, hopefully where it used to be. Uh, then you're going to come down here to receiver. You're going to plug your quad in. You're going to turn your transmitter on. What is happening? What is... My God. I just ate... That's what it is. I just ate right before the stream, and I ate way too much, and I'm feeling very fat and slow and slovenly. Um, you're going to come in here. And you're going to look and see if one of these aux channels is kind of moving around. Take your transmitter and, and kind of move it around a little bit. And one of these aux channels should be dancing around. Whatever aux channel that, it, that is, you're going to put that aux channel into the RSSI channel here. Um, you've probably done all of that, but do it again just to make absolutely sure. Um, and if it's still not working, just throw it all away. Because, I, well, okay, so here's another question. Do, is it just the RSSI that, uh, that went away? Do you have any of the other um, telemetry data? There's a question for you. Um, all right, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. Oliver Bardwell with $8.40 CA cents. Let's see what CA is. Is that Canada? Is that Canadia? 840. 840 CA in USD. Let's see what it says for CA. Yes, it is Canadian dollars, and that is six American dollars because Canada and America are friends. What does that have to do with anything? Going from 116 to 122. Yeah. I know math, I just second guess myself a lot. Thank you for that, Oliver Bodwell. Much appreciated. You're gonna see it. It's coming at you. You're gonna get to see it. Wilder FPV has a question. Why will his SkyRC IMAX B6AC not charge over 2.6 to 2.7 amps, even when I set it to charge at six amps? Your real question, Wilder, is for SkyRC. And I've got the same question. Why the hell would you give me the option to turn the amperage up higher than what the goddamn power supply with... Oh, okay, so I know the answer. Um, so you can power that charger from an external power supply that has more ass to push more amperage. Um, so that's actually the question. I've, I've, I answered that question for myself a while ago and, and then forgot. But yeah, that that's the answer. The... the the power supply in it is very small, um, which is fine because that makes it a really good travel charger. Um, and then if you're going to use it at home, you can power it externally or just buy an ISTT. No, don't buy an ISTT. Buy a, a, a tool, a toolbox RC. Is that what they're called? Just go to Joshua's website. He's got the SmackDown all set up on the good chargers. Um, ISDT can eat me. This is the second ISDT charger in a row that has shit the bed. And it's just very annoying. Um, oh, God. Okay. I've missed a lot. I've missed a lot. No, no. Here we go. Okay. Okay. It's not that bad. Not that bad. Not that bad. Um, I 
I was just taking a deep breath. I definitely wasn't yawning. GWFUV is cross asking, is Crossfire necessary? I live in a metropolitan city with lots of interference. Would Crossfire help? Um, so here's the, the long and short of it. If you're on uh, FR Sky and you are running your antennas properly and taking good care of it and not like chopping your antennas and just ignoring it, um, and you're still getting fail safes, then yes, Crossfire will help. Personally, I didn't really get fail-safes on FR Sky. I got a couple, but they were my fault, and they were situations where Crossfire would have fail-safe too. Um, I have pushed FR Sky out well over a mile without any problems. Crossfire will go like five or six or seven miles. Our quads won't. <laughs> um, it's, it's hard to build a rig that's got enough endurance to to run five or six miles and then turn around and run five or six miles back. So there's there's a real argument for FR Sky being plenty. Uh, but where that kind of sort of goes out the window is that your transmitter link is kind of everything. Um, you can lose video and typically still safely land or like hopefully just not kill someone or something. So there's a really good case for crossfire across the board in that it is the most reliable, the standard, like, high-performance, low-latency, um, very strong uh, link-having protocol. So, yes, Crossfire is great, and it's totally worth the money, and it's awesome. If you're not going to fly sketchy and you're going to fly safe, and you're not having FR Sky falling out of the sky on you, kind of a waste of money, in my opinion, to, to go over to Crossfire. Um, unless you want to be sort of future-proofed, and, and you just want to be in a scenario where if for some reason you had to fly three miles away, you could. That's totally valid. That is completely valid. If, if you get a paying gig... And they they could very well expect you to do that, right? Like that that it's they there's no understanding of the fact that our rigs won't go multiple miles like a Mavic will. Um, but if you're never gonna get a pay, if for whatever reason you know you don't think you're ever gonna go pro or try to make money off of this hobby and just oh I don't know keep it fun, there's a novel idea, right? I sure wish I would learn that one of these days, but um, actually I don't. It it is. Well, this in this case, this has been the only time that I've taken a hobby and turned it in and had fi anything financial to do with it and have it not explode in my face. But it's another story for another day. Uh, so, yeah. While they're saying it used to charge at 6 amps, now it just randomly won't go over 2.6. Mine never made it up to 6 amps. Mine would get to like 3.0, I think. I think like 3.0 was the most it would ever go to. Um... Although, did this start happening when you went to uh, 5S? I'll bet you, I'll, I'll bet you the reason why yours is only getting up to 2.6 is because a 5S battery is a bigger gas tank. No, that's it's not a good analogy. It's, it's harder for the power supply to push on the 5S battery um, than a 4S battery. So the, so the amperage will come down. This happened to me when I went from 4S to 6S. Um, all of a sudden, I used to be able to run... I mean, I, I can still run the ISDT charger at 13 amps on 4S batteries. But if I put a parallel board filled with 6S batteries, I can only run it at 8 amps before it starts to get angry and freak out and beep and overheat and fucking try to burn the house down. So um, that could be it, too. Okay, what am I missing? Check out Dilly Frame. G Dub says, "Where's Dilly Frame? Dilly Frame? Where are you, Dilly Frame? Dilly Frame? Dilly Frame? Where is it? Dilly Frame? Where's Dilly Frame, yo?" Doc Murdoch says, "You need to diversify. You need to uh, add merch to the mix. Maybe some custom micro ports." Uh, Ports. Great. Parts that are Ciotti branded, food for thought. 
Um, I dig it, Doc. Uh, I, I've got lots of plans and not... I've got lots of ideas. Um, you guys have great ideas as well. Um, it's hard to put those ideas into reality sometimes, unfortunately. But um, keep the ideas coming. You guys have just as good thoughts as I do. Um, yeah. Making products is a slippery slope. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But, but um, I do need to, to do more uh, more marketing stuff, more advertising and shit. I, I just need to, to put the links to the corn streams out in the universe instead of just expecting people to magically find them. Uh, all right. What else do we have here? I don't think I missed anything, but if I did, uh, just hit me again. Uh, what's the Dilly frame? Uh, G-Dub, tell me what... what uh, Dilly Frame is. You said check out Dilly Frame. I don't know what that means. Uh, okay. Emacs. Oh, yeah. Big Willy. Good call. Emacs Bind and Fly stuff is great. It, uh, oh, and it is racing related. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Emacs Bind and Fly stuff is awesome. The Hawk 5 is a great rig. Um, all I heard was, was like awesome shit about the Hawk 5 when it came out. Um, oh, and Catalyst Machine Works, too. Uh, thanks, Doc Murdoch. Good call. Love Drummer also calling out uh, that Emacs makes great ready-to-fly in all sizes. Um, good call, guys. Good call. Rob Axelson says, Source 1 with 20 mil standoffs. That's how you got to do it. 20 mil standoff life, everybody. Big Willy FPV. This is why I'm really liking my green Hornet. Cinewoop. No props in view, and it flies quite well. Plenty of power on 4 batteries, and I got 5 to 6 minutes on a 1300 pack. That's, that's good runtime. Shit. Uh, all right, Dave's FPV only flies T Motor F7 now, but uh, I don't know why I don't see many people using it. Um, I think the T Motor flight controllers are a little expensive. I think that's why they haven't really caught on. Uh, I believe they're just CL Racing. I believe CL makes Racing makes it, and they sell their flight controller for cheaper, I believe, than the T Motor one. Um, but yeah, uh, if it's if you like it, stick with it because the second that you change to something else, it won't be as good <laughs> unless unless you get like a good recommendation from somebody. Uh, Solo FPV just got home from ripping Tampa. Did I miss anything fun? Nah, not really. Um, somebody got angry earlier that uh, I was playing Patreon's uh, videos, so that was fun. I got to say fuck off a bunch of times, and then uh, we did giveaways. Um, uh, we did giveaways, and, um, hold on, who was it? God damn it. Um, Dave's FPV pissed in the wind a bunch, <laughs> and didn't win again. <laughs> I hope you guys know I'm always laughing with you. I'm never, never ever laughing at you. I'm laughing at the absurdity of the situation. Uh, I think I'm almost caught up. Look at me. Roscoe Sticks, what's on your t-shirt? I can only see the top half. If you don't know what's on this t-shirt from, from those eyes right there and that hair, I can't help you. I can help you. What would Jeremy Clarkson do? That's the real question, guys. This is the real religious question that matters. What would Jeremy do? He would hit it with a fucking hammer. That's what he would do. Uh, no, I don't want to just unplug that cold. I want to go here and save what I was doing. And now I can disconnect it. Um, food for thought, don't leave your quads plugged in to USB for any longer than you need to. USB is 5 volt, and in, on your flight controller is a 5 volt to 3.3 volt uh, BEC to convert that voltage. And if that BEC fails, which they do, you're fucked. The flight controller is donezo. So, plug it in, not not in the same, not with the same urgency that like plugging battery voltage in and having your VTX get hot. It's not that urgent, but try not to do like I do all the time and like plug your quad in and then fucking forget about it for three hours and have it sitting there for three hours banging away on the on the three point three volt um, BEC. What do you think of that world? Top tips. Uh, uh, Rav Axison, can we start a pool? How many packs before he destroys the Insta360? Uh, dude, I'm, I'm so down for that. Oh, you son of a bitch, Big Willie. 
Big Willie with six dollars and sixty-five cents because he wants to make me do math. All right, so six plus two is eight. Sixty-five cents plus twenty cents is eighty-five cents. That wasn't too bad. All right, thank you for that, Big Willie. You made me exercise my brain, the math part of my brain. Chris, uh, Chris I says he will do, so I will talk to you on the socialist of medias. Oh, that came out wrong. <laughs> the most social of medias. There we go. Um, yeah, you guys should totally start a pool for how long before that. Um, the first 360 go explodes. Marley Lepo says, I mean, screaming man's sample in that goat from where is the voice sent? Oh, wait. I mean, screaming man sample in that goat. Yeah. Yeah. This. That's... Oh! 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 I see what you're saying. So, yeah, right. In the goat video, um, it's not the goat. I guess I don't. I guess I don't know where the actual goat scream is from. Where is the goat scream from? Let's see how good Google is. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it to one of you guys to. Here it is. Just in case anybody's wondering. And in case anybody hasn't seen it, I don't know where you've been, but where's the one? No, that's not the one. Here's the one. Here's the guy. Here he comes. Ready? Here he is. There it is. That definitely came out of that goat's mouth. That was definitely not overdubbed. Uh, yeah, I don't know where that over where, where that dub comes from, but uh, I want to know now. You tell me, Marley, with more of them kroners getting the kroners in. What the hell is that? Oh, right, I'm on the wrong thing. Um, fuck more math. Thirty, thirty-three, thirty-three, one, thirty-three. Look at us go! Oh Christ, I erased the wrong thing. There it is, one thirty-three eighty-five. I think I did that math right. If I didn't, eh, be okay. We'll live. KJFPV is here. Hey man, just got back from a beer run. Hopefully didn't miss much. About to order Crossfire. Which one is the best for quads? The mini, uh, the LIE, or the full size? Um, I mean, the, the full size is technically better because it's got more power and having the screen is nice and it's got a button back there and um, it's great. Uh, I don't like it because of the size and um, the, 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 the five pins down there, four or five pins that connect to it, like, I don't want to be unplugging it and replugging it and if I was to leave it plugged into the back of the transmitter, it wouldn't fit in my bag. I don't really think it'll fit many bags set up like that. So for me, I went for the mini because it kind of just takes up no room. My transmitter still fits in the bag um, and it still has plenty of power. Like it's still drastically more powerful than FR Sky. Um, so for me, the mini was the best fit, but if you really want to get serious about doing long range, get one of the bigger ones um, because they have more power, more options, and they're just really nice. Uh, but you kind of can't go wrong with any of them. They're all really well made. Rascal Six says, depends on what transmitter you have, doesn't it? What were we talking about? Depends on what transmitter you have. Hmm. Rascal Sticks, tell me what we were talking about. I forget. Oh, 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 as to which Crossfire module you buy. Yes, exactly right. That's the other thing you have to... Um, be careful of is that you get one that'll fit your radio, but I leave that up to you. Um, but yeah, that's that's uh, something you got to pay attention to for sure. Um, Rob Axelson turned his kite hobby into a business until the industry slash supplies crapped out. No shit, Rob. Um, have you, Rob? Did you know that my parents are like super into kites, um, uh, like land based kites, not kite surfing kites. Um, when I was very young, when I was like a teenager, I think, um, my dad got a Trilby, 
kite from our local RC store. And um, the Trilby kites were evil because you could buy one, but then you could buy another one and stack it. But then you could buy another one and stack that one. But then you could buy another one and stack that one. And then at some point, you're going to see somebody that's got a stack of like 40 of these fucking things. And it's just dope as shit because they all have tails and they're two-line kites, so you steer them and... Yeah, we fell down the rabbit hole. My parents stayed in that rabbit hole. Um, I, I did some competition-ish um, two-line flying uh, for a very brief period of time um, and then found motorsports and, and other more expensive, destructive-to-the-planet hobbies. But, uh, yeah, that's crazy, Rob. Small world. Kites are a very niche hobby. Uh... Do, 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 do. G Dub tagged me and just didn't say anything. So hi G Dub. Uh, Daniel Maurer tagged me and just didn't say. Anything. Oh no, there. Just Google Dilly Frame. Here's what I got. Dillyframes.com. Showing some love to the Dilly Frames. What's the Dilly with these frames? Sorry. Is that was that over the line? <laughs> this looks like a good frame. It's got um, it's got devil horns on the ends of the arms to protect the motors. That's a good thing. Um, the uh, the bottom plate. I mean, it, it looks a lot like the glide frame, <laughs> which which is a good thing. Um, uh, okay. I mean, fairly basic frame design. It looks like they use the um, uh, the schizo uh, arms meeting in the middle uh, little thing. <coughs> what must Kristen think? What must she think when she hears that over there in the bedroom coming through the wall? Right? Um, yeah, this looks like a good frame. The, the carbon fibers go in the length of the arms. That's good. Um, on the X plate, I usually like to see cross hatched. I usually, yeah, so I don't know about that X plate. Um, oh, look at that. That's an interesting way to, uh, to center those. That's pretty cool. Um, usually the... Oh, nope, 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 they did, they did, they got it, okay. Yep, 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 yep. They got the carbon, um, they got the carbon weave going like this on the X plate, which is good, that's what you want, you want it at the diagonals on the X plate, and then on the base plate and the top plate, you want it running up, down, left, and right, so that's good. Yeah, Dilly Frame looks good, man. 80 bucks is kind of steep, um, especially considering that you can get a, a glide hammer for 50, um, but... Yeah, it looks good. True X. Max prop. Oh, that's cool. Max prop length five and a half. So they made the arms long enough for um, five and a half inch props. That's good. Do they have a weight on it? Assembled weight, including hardware, one forty two. Why is it so heavy? Um, what's so heavy about it? Five millimeter arms, so the arms clear five and a half inch props, so that's a little bit heavy. Uh, two and a half mil top plate, that's normal. Uh, two and a half bottom plate, that's normal. Two mil sandwich plate, yeah, that's normal. Huh. I wonder why it's heavy. I wonder why it's that heavy. I would think it would be closer to like 120 grams. Um, that's only that, that that's my only knock on it is that it's a little heavy. Other than that, it looks great. Yeah. Beefed up glide frame, sorta. Huh. Cool frame. Good looking frame. I, I don't, I, I typically hate on frames. Uh, <laughs> I usually look at a frame, I'm like, Ugh, this, this, that sucks, that sucks, that sucks. But no, I, that frame looks good, man. Shit. Uh, Rob Axelson, Beta FPV XL Twig 3 inch bind and fly race is awesome. I'm curious. I feel like I've, I've heard of that one before, but. I want to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. That does look a good, that does look like a good toothpick. That is a a, a nice looking frame as well. The the um, 
the um, I don't know what I was gonna say, but yeah, that does look good. That's uh, the, did you get the? Uh, you said you got the Biden fly. Okay, cool. 170, 180 ish. Um, Solo says sounds like I did miss some fun. <laughs> Um, oh, God damn it! Come on, YouTube. Help me out. There it goes. Cage FPV needs to upgrade his Talon F7 Fusion to 4.1. Do you know of any good videos to show me this? Uh, is there any risk? And how do I transfer my settings? Uh, also, do I run D-Shot 1200? Nope. Uh, you're going to do D-Shot 600. Uh, RPM filtering. Uh, no real risk as long as you pick the right... Um, uh, target, which is pretty easy. I would say uh, Joshua's got a... Oh, I'm going to sneeze again. I think I figured something out for the record. Speaking of my face being a jerk, um, there's something in this room that I'm allergic to. There's something in here. Um, and I actually think it might be... I have a whole bunch of acoustic foam on um, the closet over here. And the only thing I can think of is that the acoustic foam is holding on the dust. And then before I stream, I turn on like a long time before I stream in hopes that there won't be shit in the air. I turn on the overhead fan. I'm going to not turn the overhead fan on anymore. Um, and I'm just going to boil my balls off in the, in the, the, the den here, but I'm going to do it for the, the, for the Instagram. That's what the kids say. Anything to just not have my face explode. Every time I come into this room, I will do anything. I will fucking stream naked with sweat covering. Uh, never mind. I'm not, it's, I'm just lying anyway. Uh, <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so Cage, I would uh, look up uh, Joshua's most recent um, how-to series. I guarantee you there's w w like step two or step three or something like that is going to be updating uh, firmware or just message me and I'll walk you through it. Oh, you bastard, Daniel. You son of a bitch. Daniel Maurer with $3.79. I'm going to round it up to $3.80. And that means that this total is going to go to one thirty-seven and Sixty-five cents. How you like me now, mother? <laughs> Love drummer. Um... Oh, <laughs> Love drummer thinks uh, it's gonna be eight batteries before I I blow up the Insta three sixty go. Love battery. I can tell you're new around here. <laughs> Athic says, gotta watch men who stare at goats. <laughs> Oh, wait, hey, who's going to tell me where the, the actual goat scream is from? Make sure you uh, tag me. I need to know. Uh, Rabbi Assistant says, wow, small world had a patent par uh, partner. No fucking shit. Are you kidding me, Rob? Dude, the, the TC Ultra quads are the uh, quads. Great. The TC Ultra um, kites are like almost what my dad and I flew exclusively. Holy shit, dude. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we found TC Ultra with the the... The swan, the double swanee logo thing in the middle. We found TC Ultras really early on and stuck with them forever because we could run them two line or quad line. Wow, dude, talk about a small world, Jesus. Yeah, my dad's got to have a dozen um, TC Ultra uh, kites. And to give you some idea of of how badly it spiraled out of control, um, and to give you some insight into me, you know, Apple not falling far from the tree. Uh, at one point, my uh, parents bought a trailer for the kites. A kite trailer. Like a legit trailer. Like a fucking horse trailer. But not as big as a horse trailer. Shorter than a horse trailer. But an enclosed trailer for all their kites. 
that lots and lots of revs, mad TC ultras, a whole bunch of HQ quites. Oh my god, dude, that's crazy that you had something to do with those TC ultras. That's insane. Wow. Damn, small world. My god. Uh, factory was out of Savannah. Sales and rails. Yep, on River Street. Yep, my parents know that. Um, know that shop and then uh, my, my parents know all the shops on the east coast that's insane that's absolutely just silly uh amz mellow's comment just got zipped off the top of the screen because because youtube dice please uh amz mellow any tips for reducing a rat's nest when soldering uh i will cut so um, if you want to watch me do this AMZ, just go backwards into any of the previous corn streams. Um, the majority of my streams have been building. Um, so you'll get to kind of see my method of measuring and cutting and whatnot. Um, but to, to, to just put a not so fine point on it. If, if I have this much of a distance, um, that I need to cover for a wire, uh, what I'll do is I'll cut the wire to be about that long and then, so let's say it's a receiver. You've got five volt ground, S bus, and telemetry. I will take those four and and spin them together. Twisted pairs is what it's called. But um, take the four and I will neatly spin them so that they all stay as a bundle. And what's cool about that is I cut them this long. Well, when you spin them, they have a longer distance to travel. So this becomes this. So now all of a sudden it's kind of the perfect length down the road if you need more distance if if you run a different flight controller or put something in a different spot you can untwist those wires and that'll make them a little bit longer um but it yeah that that's that's the way i prefer to do it and and the tighter you twist them um within reason of course don't go gorilla dicking it um but yeah the, the just um it's just mainly about not cutting them super long. Just don't leave them like crazy long. Cut them a little bit longer and then spin them and that'll take that gap up. And, and you can pretty much just run them straight from point A to point B. That'll, that'll keep like 90% of the rat's nest down. Um, and then someday if you keep flying and flying and flying and flying and find your perfect frame, what'll be really cool is you can really start cutting them as short as possible and then your builds will be just like stupidly clean. Um, but yeah, don't be afraid to, to chop them too short. Um, you can always put another wire in or get another connector and, and, and you know, de-pin it and re-pin it. Um, so yeah, I'm a big proponent of not leaving full-length wires and just fucking... <laughs> just like rats nesting them together. Um, because in that rat's nest, A, it's a pain in the ass to service when you have to fix it. Uh, and B, there's all kinds of electrical noise and all hell breaking loose in there. So there's some, uh, there's some tips. KJF PV is sorry to bust my balls, but he's going to do it anyway. Best three inch freestyle, uh, bando frame to order for the next build. Now have a spare Talon F7 stack, uh, and best four by three camera also. Best camera is always a very subjective thing. Um, I love the micro eagles. Lots of people hate the micro eagles. Um, so the camera thing, what I'll say is, uh, jump over to Nick Burns channel. He, re he does really, really good camera. He, his, he just reviews properly. Um, and he does a, a good amount of camera reviews. So you can get a good feeling on a bunch of cameras over on his channel. Um, and then a strong three inch frame, go to BQE, look at, get something from BQE. Everything they make is just durable as hell. Um, they've got two really, I think they've got two main three inch frames. Uh, one of them, the, the front arms connect and the rear arms connect. Uh, that is not their stronger frame. Uh, I, somebody in the chat helped me out. What's the, what's the name of the, the BQE frame? Uh, three AF. There it is. The BQE three AF frame. Um, if you just want like a bomb proof three inch frame, I think that's the one. Um, Catalyst Machine Works has some interesting three-inch frames, but man, there's a lot going on. There's their their frames just have a lot going on. I, I would I, personally, I'd prefer a, a more simple frame, 
that's kind of easier to service, and that's what the BQE frame is going to be. So um, that's going to be my uh, my suggestion for you on that one. Or if you want something a little bit lighter, uh, Mini Alien or Mini Reverb from Impulse RC. Uh, those you can get them built about like 180, uh, 190 or so grams on 4s uh, with 450s, and at that weight, they'll be plenty durable. They won't be super durable, but they'll they'll take a slam or two for sure. Uh, Eric Farmer, favorite motor prop combo for the glide, not the hammer carrying a session. Uh, now is a weird time to to ask me that. Uh, and I missed Meat Wad Fairy's um, drift comment, uh, which I'll get to in a second. But Eric, so uh, I'm still flying. T motor F40 Pro 2s, which is a 2306, um, 1600 kV motor on all my rigs, but that is discontinued. Um, there is a T motor F40 Pro 4 coming out, which is supposedly going to be a 2306 again and lightweight again. The Pro 3 was not, was neither of those things. So that might be it. That might be the motor, uh, but it's kind of expensive. That's a $25 motor. Uh, in the world of Economy motors, there's a lot of options. Uh, I'm currently playing around with Emax's 2306 Eco uh, in 1700 kV. It, I don't think it quite has the, the grunt and the torque that I'm used to and that I think I want. Um, but it's a great motor. It's I've smashed them up pretty good and they seem to be pretty strong. So there's a good one. Uh, the Zing 2306 is also really good. It's a little heavier than most uh 2306s but it's tough as nails um toa has a really good motor they have two really good motors they have like a normal one that basically weighs what the zing weighs and then they have a lightweight one um so yeah uh there's the i've heard really good things about those and yeah i won't overcomplicate it anymore Th there's some options for you um yeah I, I, I'm, I'm interested in those TOA motors, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I, a couple people I really trust really like them. Um, so that might be the, the motor that I try next. Um, because I just don't... I mean, I, I would love to go to the T-Motor Pro 4, but I, I have a hard time paying 25 bucks for per motor right now. Um, the I stuck with these Pro 2s, F40 Pro 2s for so long because I've been able to get them cheap. I've been able to get them like 14, 15 bucks a motor for a long time now because they got discontinued and people would just throw them on clearance. Um, but, yeah, man, with how often I break motors, 25 bucks a motor is kind of steep. So I'm right there with you. I'm, I'm going to be looking for a, a new, the newest, best, lightest, strongest 2306 pretty soon here. What else do we have? Meatwad Farmer Fairy. <laughs> Um, wait, no. GWFPV says, that's why I asked, uh, I have that frame with the first blaster. Oh, cool. Nice, nice. That must be a dope rig. Um, Meatwad Fairy, uh, might be getting to chase some more drift cars next week. Sick. Get it. All, everybody, get in touch with your local drift group. There probably is one. And say, hey. I want to come out and chase you guys around and get cool footage of you. And they'll say, cool. And then you'll go out and you'll have the most goddamn fun you've ever had flying. Because chasing a subject is so fun. And for that subject to be a big, loud, just silly drift car pounding out, you know, 10 feet of smoke. There's a reason why there are so many drift edits, drift FPV edits, because it's super fun and it just looks cool man it just looks cool so go out and do it go out and do it no excuses um ken hill asking didn't you set up beta flight 4.1 or 4.2 on a talon f7 like two corn streams ago i did ken um i think it was i think it was two i think it was saturdays so that would be number 20 20 number 20 there you go uh, G Dub says eight. The camera will be broke after pack two. I wish I could say that I don't believe that, but I do. 
Uh, Eric Farmer says, an old RC... What the hell? It's 12.15? All right. Ripping through the chat, and then we're going to shut this mother down. Eric Farmer says, an old RC glider buddy of mine uh, was one of the two founding partners in Prism Kites. No shit. Prism Kites, that's the other company. We had a ton of kites from. Crazy how many kite guys I've run into in the RC world. Really? That's... I guess it makes sense. RC flight... Um, yeah, interesting. I never... Um, I never put that parallel together. Parallel, that's it. Marley Lepo says, Come on, it's not the goat, actually. Check YouTube for Wilhelm. Wilhelm. All right, all right. I have to type it in or I'll forget. Come on, YouTube. Go faster. Wilhelm. Scream. Sick. All right, I'm going to check that out. Uh, but, 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 okay, Marley Lepo with 50 more of them kroners. I have to look it up because I forget. What are the kroners? Five? The kroners are five. Instafund. Getting up into the 140s. Look at us go. Uh, forty-two. One forty-two. Nope, nope, nope. What? Yep, yep, there he is. One forty-two. Sixty-five. Look at us go. All right. KJFPV, you're certainly welcome. Cory Man Zero. Oh my god, I have finally hit the bottom of the chat. Uh, Cory Man Zero's quad hovers when he gives it a little bit of throttle. Okay, so it, it hovers, but then when he gives it a little bit more th th throttle, th a little bit more throttle, it flips out and spins like crazy. Any thoughts? Really? Oh, 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 right, 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 right. Um, Corey Mann, drop, go into your PID, uh, your PID tuning menu, drop your pitch, roll, and yaw, P gain values, all three of them, right in the line, drop them all down by 10, wherever they are, take 10 off of them, and then go over to your D gain values, and drop 5 off of your D gain values, um, D gain values, you're only gonna have pitch and roll, there's no yaw D, um, so do that, and I bet you... You'll be good to go. Tweet FPV's got to go. Thanks for hanging, Dan, and thanks for the generosity, as always. Uh, Experimental Arts to see just did his first paramotor flight a few, a few weeks ago. Nice. When are you going to fly from the paramotor? Is, of course, what everybody in the FPV world is going to ask you. Um, Corey, man, if, you, if that doesn't fix it, uh, hit me on Instagram or Facebook at CIDFPV, and we will keep the troubleshoot going. That's going to be it for me, unless anybody has... Some last minute. Oh, 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 oh. Corey, man, also try this. Uh, take your props off. Uh, plug your rig into Betaflight. Plug a battery into your rig. Go to the motors tab. Spin each motor all the way up and down uh, individually. And listen and feel. Like, touch. Like, keep your hand on the quad. What you're feeling for is if one of your motors is, is very out of balance. One of them might be shaking really hard, and then if it is, you replace that motor and your problem should go away. Um, but yeah, message me and we'll get it going. That's it for me. Click the things down here if you'd like. If not, it's on you. You're the one that has to sleep at night. Steel already flew from a paramotor in Lake Wales, Florida, and I was there, and it was awesome. Experimental, was it just like the, the, the most... There's, like, kind of no reason to do it, right? It's just like, oh, okay, I did it. It's not like... like what's it going to do? Give you more range? Parts for bent toys with 20.47 CAs. Don't feel like you're neglecting me ever. All right, well, we're, we're, we're going long because you guys are awesome. All right, so 2047. Talk about math. 20.47 CA in USD. What do we got? 14.67. Holy crap. That's a lot of math. I'm getting the goddamn calculator out. 14.67 plus 142.65 equals 157.32. Bro, thank you very, very much. Don't you ever feel like you're neglecting me, because you never are. You're here hanging out, and that's all I ever want from you guys. Um, thanks, parts. Love it. Doc Murdoch for the Insta, for the Graham. 
with $9.99. Don't have to do math for that. I hope. We are at $167. You guys are absolute animals. Oh my god, Cory Man with five CAs. Thank you, Cory Man. I'm doing the the conversion thing. Tree 58. Oh, for the gram, meat wad. You mother. Now you guys are doing this shit on purpose. Two dollars and eighty nine cents. Meat wad fairy is gonna make me work for it. Me and the calculator. Here we go. Here we go. Three fifty eight plus one sixty seven point thirty two. This is almost an, This is almost enough for me to learn Streamlabs to do this automatically, but not quite enough. I'm still not gonna do it. I'm going to hold out. I'm going to keep not stream labsing it, labsing it. Oh man. The train is coming. Wait a second. What did I put all the I put everything in the wrong spot. There we go. 17090. Thanks to Doc Wait, no, thanks to Cory man. Meet Wad Ferry with 289 plus 289 equals 17379. Oh shit. 173.79. There it is. Thank you, Meatwad. Remy Tim with 1999. His shit gets rounded. Oh damn. Look at that. 193. William Barlow with $1.99. William, you are the man. Daniel Maurer, you are a madman. And I am very. Lucky to have you as a friend. Oh my god, all hell just wait. Oh boy. I think I messed that one up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We got two more. Okay, here we go. Five. Got it. Marley Lepo coming in hot with mad kroners. 500 kroners. Let's see what that is. I like the I like the Norwegian kroner because like the 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 exchange rate is so insane that I have like no chance of getting it. So every time I type it in, it's like a little surprise. All right, here we go. Five hundred N O K in U S D. Ooh, snap! That's forty nine dollars and seventy eight cents, Marley, dude. Thank you, brother. Super, super, super cool. I'll even do the math. That's how committed I am to this thing. We did it. We did it. So I'm going to go plus, oh wait, no, shit. Hold on, wait, clear it out. We got to get the exact number, that's important. 79 plus 49.78. Ooh, 245.57, I got some extra money for a case of beer. <laughs> Marley, coming in hot. With the heater. Damn, bros. 245.57. There it is. And then a little bit of Cage Drummer. 449 Australian. All right, I will. I'm going to do it right now. I just got to do a little exchange rate. 449 Australian. In USD. I think I just spelled it wrong. Yes, I did. All right. 295 is getting rounded up to three. There it is, boys and girls. 248.57. Yep, one motor feels and sounds different front right. I will try to change it out with a spare. There you go, Corey Man. What you can probably actually do is just pop the bell off and swap the bell. Um, if it's a C clip motor, and you have an extra motor, just swap the motor. Don't trash the one that's that's um, out of balance, though. Save it, because it's probably got at least one good bearing in there. And this, the whole stator might actually be fine. So save it. Um, just uh, uh, draw, like, with black marker on it or something, because you will forget. Like, a month from now, you'll totally forget, and you'll put that motor on, and your shit will blow up. Um, <laughs> Love Drummer says, get a protective case for it so it can last more than two batteries. Um, this is going to be my protective case for it. <laughs> this is how I'm going to mount that, that, that Insta 360, um, on the, uh, this is how it's going to mount on the, um, uh, on the CB3 here, just right on the front standoff. 
uh, right above it. And then I have a, um, a little strappy mount here that goes on the bottom of the tiny whoops, uh, the, the newbie drone tiny whoops, and it holds it down the bottom. I think that's going to be really fun. I can't wait to play around with this floppy little bastard. All right, here we go. We're going in. I hit the button. Nothing happened. OBS, what are you, you going to fucking work or, okay. All right, here we go. We're going. Here we go. We're going. You guys ever watch and like think to yourselves like, that dude's fucking crazy. Is that like a th oh! You sons of bitches! <laughs> How dare you! You can't be sold out. No 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 there's there's hold on we got this where's like where's like the local store thing come on where's come on no we got this they can't be they can't be how do I? Yeah, I know it. It is super popular. Um, I have to get it from Best Buy though, William, for the um, for the uh, the protection plan. Oh look, did they make the protection plan more expensive? Those rats. That's okay. Twenty nine is still fine. Um, where is like how? How can I see my local store? You rat bastards. <laughs> <laughs> um can I like find a what if I say that I'm in Gwinnett I'll say I'll make Gwinnett my store maybe that'll fix the problem oh god no that's not get out of here yeah 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 there we go all right here we go come on come on No, no, no. Get out of here, Amazon. You don't... No. No, Amazon. No! How do I make you say not sold out? Guys, how do I make it say not sold out? This is unacceptable. I can't get the... Uh, I can't get the, um... Parts. I can't get, uh... The... 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 In-store, uh bash the shit out of it and just bring it back to us in pieces warranty <laughs> at RDQ. Come on, Best Buy. Are you... It can't be... Yeah, RDQ does offer a warranty, but it's not like this. It's not like Best Buy's warranty. It's... Um... So, for the record, um, and, and don't completely quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure this is true... Um, the RDQ warranty, I believe, is just an extension. If you're going to do the RDQ warranty, you read up on it, because there is some fine print on it, for the record. That's, uh, and I'm just going to leave it there. Um, it, it, do, no, it can't be sold out, like, on all of Best Buy. There, there has to be, that's, that's nonsense. Beaufort Warehouse? Yeah, that's my store. Good. No. Snellville? I'll drive to Snellville. I'll visit the uh, Snells while I'm up there. Alright, let's see. Oh! What if I click on it? Don't. Don't you dare. Marley Lepo with 20 more of them kroners. Thank you, Marley. Check, is it in Alaska? <laughs> Rob Oxison says he did crash his incident in the roadway and it survived. Hell yeah. Now we're talking. Um, all right. Well, I'm just going to leave this page open and refresh it like a crack addict. Um... Oh, good idea. Nice, nice. I'll try that, Remy. All right, cool. Um, 
I'm going to shut this down and go relax and try to get some sleep tonight. You guys are awesome. Thanks a million for um, all the support on the Insta360 GoFund. Why would the, 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 what? OBS, come on. Um, damn, you guys are awesome. Look at that. 248.57. Uh, uh, should be 253. 253.57. Look what you guys, look what we have created. Thanks, guys. You rule. Replace, replace Bell, not more of a, wait. Oh, nice, nice, Corey. There you go, look at that. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to check the Asheville stores. I'm going to keep hitting F, what is it, F11 for refresh. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow on the Corn stream. I don't know when it's going to be. So just sit by the computer all day and wait. And I'll see you then.